next chart is give you some idea about low speed flow capability together with our convergence acceleration scheme. Uh, what you see here is a pretty benign test case, but extremely important case for people to start from on the CFD side. The problem is the flow go up past a bump. Why is it important? Because you, although you have no, no data, but you can judge your solution right from wrong just by looking at it. Why? Because if a symmetric problem in low speed, your result should be symmetric. If it's not, your method has problem. Okay. And why also this problem is very important for the low speed? For the density-based method, low speed down to 0 0.0, 5 generally you cannot get a straight solution because the acoustic wave speed is much faster than convection speed why you know you know why right the, it's because if you are point oh oh one saying you know your pressure wave is a hundred let's say a tens uh, a thousand feet per second and your speed at only 10 feet per second so the difference in the, the in two wave speed is such a deep, uh, large disparity, and the convergence in general sense convert uh, controlled by acoustic wave. So the convection wave can never do the right thing. So you have to do it a little bit different, called something called preconditioning. You write a cast equation in a different form, so you pay equally importance to acoustic wave to then the convection wave. That's really the spirit of preconditioning. You <clears throat> play it with fundamental equation of fluid. So on um, there's a four uh, line plot chart in here. The first in the lower left is the blue is if you use the basic solver without preconditioning and its solution show conversion a thousand iteration. Now if you turn on the preconditioning Solution converge at 22,000 iteration. So, no, 2200. 20, right? So, we will reduce, make the converge four times faster. On the other hand, on, top, on the upper chart, upper left hand, uh, right hand chart, is when we turn on the residual propagation scheme. Okay, without preconditioning, we actually realize, you know, solution converges 1600 duration compared to what we had as a factor of five improvement. Now, of course, the fundamental question is, are those two effect compound each other, right? That's always curious to see, find out whether it works. So luckily enough, you know, we have proven our preconditioning together with a multi-grid are really compounding effect. With the lower right hand side chart showed to you, the solution converge in 4, uh, 400 iteration versus original 8,000 iteration. So we achieve a 20 times improvement in terms of iteration counts. Okay, that is pretty interesting. So, in other words, the process has been implemented consistently and achieve a compound effect.